my last question and i feel this is like the most imp important question that's why i saved it for last you would ask them so What's up you guys, it's Adana. welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so grateful to each and every one of you. You guys have been following me on this journey from PA school to now PAC and I wouldn't have it any other way. You guys have been amazing. So interview season is in swing. People are also getting their applications in for um, PA school and it's pretty crazy because school is actually about to start in just a few weeks. And that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. I wanna give you guys at minimum five questions that I feel you should ask on your PA school interview. It is important that you guys have at least five questions at least you know you can have more but at minimum five questions that you can put in your back pocket for when you are asked on your PA school interview do you have any questions for us because the one thing you do not want to do you guys is be like uh, um, um, uh, no I don't have any questions thanks for having me because in their mind they're thinking yes Thank you for coming. We are not gonna see you in the next few short months because you want to actually show them that, hey, you are like thinking about stuff. You know, you've thought about what the school is about and maybe even the fact that, hey, you've done your research on the school. That's why you should always do your research as well, you guys. So this is gonna be just like my five questions that I kind of asked and I thought about when I was on the interview process. And I think that it's beneficial for you as well. So you can take them and use them as you see fit. But you guys don't all use them at the same interview because <laughs> they're gonna hear the same question and be like, hmm, where did that come from, okay? So try to be creative. Now, the first question that I think you should ask, um, which was important to me, was do you do graduate assistance? So do you have like a graduate job assistance program? So my particular program actually had a fellowship where a lot of the students that went to my school went into this fellowship, which meant that they had jobs directly out of PA school. Yes, it was paying them a little bit more, but they would also get their doctorate degree and then be able to go on and do whatever they wanted to do after that year of service in the fellowship. So technically it was like a graduate assistance in that the school kind of shuttled you into a job but I mean, there are schools that actually like have prospective jobs come to you and you know, you kind of get into like the same type of program thing where you give them back like a year or two of your time and they help like pay off your loan or whatever the case may be. So that is something that you should probably look into uh, when you're trying to find the right school for you. And then when you're on the interview process, just ask and see because you have not because you ask not, right? So that I think is one thing that you should definitely think about when you're applying to PA school and getting these interviews. So the next question that I think you should ask is what do you feel is the strength of your program? Now I know, I know some of you may be a little leery because you're like, who am I, little old me, just a pre-PA trying to get in wherever I can to ask them what is the strength of their program, but you are a prospective student that's going to be paying tens of thousands of dollars to this program, so it is actually important. And speaking of strengths, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe right now because it will strengthen my YouTube algorithm, which will help my channel out a lot. A third question, which was important to me, was do you all allow outside rotations? Now, this is not something that like every school does and it might not necessarily be important to you. Like for me, you know, I had a family that I picked up and I moved all the way to the school that I went to and I was like, you know, I'm not really trying to stay here for two and a half years. Um, because I wanted to go back to the state that I was from. I love the DMV area, so I wanted to go back there and work and build relationships there. So that's why I was like, it's important for me if I'm able to do my rotations back home because that is where I'm trying to go when I finish school. And that's where the relationships that I need to build are so that I can get an in when it's time for me to get a job. So that was an important question for me. It may not be for you, and maybe you can insert another question in there, but I think that it's important for you to source out what are the like main things that you're looking for in a program. I also think a fourth question that you should keep in mind is what is the culture of your program? Now, um, culture meaning like how does your program run? Is it 
very like small group space? Um, do you guys do a lot of activities together? Are you really all about like the mission trips and are you all outdoorsy? Um, because that will make you and help you understand like, hey, am I going to fit into this culture? Um, because you wanna actually be able to fit into where you're going into school, right? You wanna be able to be comfortable and have like that be one less thing that you need to worry about, uh, which is fitting in. So definitely ask that question. It's really important because you want to be comfortable while you're going through the grueling slog of didactic year. Um, and then again, when you're in clinical year, having friends and people that you can actually get along with and do things with and fit into this culture is important because it's just gonna be great for your mental health. My last question, and I feel this is like the most imp important question. That's why I saved it for last. Um, I heard it somewhere in like, you know, like interview tips or something like that. And I thought that it was like a really good thing that you should use when really applying to any program and like any job or anything like that. But Honestly, I feel like it's a really good option for PA school as well. And the question is to whoever is asking you the question, well, do you have any questions for us? What was the characteristic traits of the most successful students at your program? Now, you it kind of sounds like, oh, like what is this girl talking about? But honestly, depending on the way that the professor or the director of the program like answers that question to you will help you decide like is this the program for me as well for instance like let's say they were like oh you know the students that have been most successful at our program studied their behinds off they were like in this place 24 7 some of them even slept here and you know they never really went home i really don't know if they socialized as much but they got the work done you could throw anything at them and they were ready and willing to study and get that work done now i mean obviously you want people that are studying hard or hard workers and things like that but is that the like life that you want where you don't have a life but PA school and all you have to do is study and sleep in your PA programs like building? No, if that's not what you want, then that might not necessarily be the school for you. So these are things that you have to take into consideration because it's like, all right, I want to know what the culture is, but I also want to know like, hey, am I going to have a life? And if I will fit into that culture, um, because you are seeing that successful students at your program really need to do extremely, extremely hard work. So that I think is something that you should really take into consideration. Remember that question, um, put it in your back pocket and know that I told you that one. Um, I got it from somebody else, but you know, I told it to you here first. Uh, so definitely ask that and keep that in mind when you're going through these interviews because you have to ask them something when they say that question. You're not trying to be the person that looks like when they ask you, do you have any questions for us? Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. And also please leave me like any suggestions that you may have for videos as well, because I do take those into consideration when I am planning out these videos for the various different weeks. If you have not already done so, go ahead on over to my Instagram at Adana the PA and please follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.